Hi, candidate. Welcome to another session of uh, Manifested uh, Online Classes. So in this session, I want us to continue uh, with uh, this particular subtopic here, or uh, still we're in topic number three, and specifically I want us to look on this subtopic to do with the presentation or basically preparation of interim financial statements, and uh, that is basically governed by <coughs> uh, IS34. So interim financial uh, statements are those particular financial statements mostly prepared by companies, whether listed or not, for a period less than one financial year. Like generally what we know is that any listed company uh, mostly prepare financial statement on quarterly basis. Those financial statements can be complete or they can be condensed. And uh, therefore, what IS34 uh, do is basically to prescribe, to give the minimum content of those particular financial statements prepared by listed companies or other companies for a period less than one what, uh, financial uh, year. So therefore, first of all, we can say <coughs> that uh, interim financial statements, financial statements, are uh, financial reports, financial reports uh, prepared by companies, companies for a period less than one year, for a period less than one year, year, e.g. A quarterly basis, <coughs> a quarterly basis, or half year basis, or half a year, half year. So meaning that if a company has prepared financial statements on quarterly basis, or basically financial statements have been prepared, uh, or the company is preparing financial statements after every six months, <coughs> uh, those particular financial statements, we refer to them as what? Interim financial a statement. Now, this particular standard here, that is IS34, we have said it prescribes <coughs> the minimum content of um, the interim financial a statement. So, this financial statement, uh, which are prepared on quarterly basis or basically on half year basis, what should be contained in those particular financial reports or financial a statement? So, we can say IS34 uh, IS uh, prescribes the minimum content, minimum uh, content uh, of interim financial statements, interim financial uh, statements. And equally, we can proceed and look on uh, those particular content, what should be contained in this particular interim uh, financial uh, statement. So we can say that uh, they include they include the following. They include the following. So number one, <coughs> we have um, so we have uh, around uh, five content of interim uh, financial statement. Number one, we have the condensed uh, condensed uh, statement of uh, comprehensive income, a statement of comprehensive income. So we also have the state, uh, condensed a uh, statement of uh, financial position or basically condensed a uh, balance sheet. Then we have condensed a uh, statement of changes in equity, changes in equity. And then we also have condensed a uh, statement of cash flows of our cash flows and finally number five we have the selected notes selected a uh, notes a uh, two a uh, financial uh, statement so therefore a complete set of the interim financial statement prepared by the company either on quarterly a uh, basis or half yearly basis should comprise of those particular uh, five uh, content. So then uh, finally, I think we can define some few terms uh, which are defined at this particular standard here. Definition of terms, of uh, terms. So we have 
two main terms uh, two main terms we need to define here the first term is something called the interim period interim period basically i've said is a, a a financial reporting period less than one year or less than one financial year e.g uh, six months e.g uh, a quarter or basically a period of what a period of uh, <coughs> uh, three months so we have the first term here which is the interim interim a uh, period interim period and we can say that this is a, a, a reporting a financial reporting period financial reporting period 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 financial reporting period uh, of uh, less than one year less than one a year eg a half year half year half year in this case we are talking of uh, a period of uh, six months or a quarter or a quarter 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 of a year here we are talking of a period of uh, three what three months so therefore interim period is any financial reporting period uh, of less than one year, easy, uh, half a year, a quarter, and so on. So then from there, we have uh, <coughs> the other term uh, which we need to define here, and uh, that is the uh, interim uh, financial report. Interim financial report. So when we talk about the interim financial report, maybe uh, from what we know, uh, we, we have. Uh, mentioned here these are those particular financial a uh, report or basically financial statements uh, which now will be uh, prepared by an entity or even by a company for a period <coughs> of less than one financial year so therefore you can say that uh, these are uh, financial uh, report financial report or even financial statements financial uh, statements a uh, statement a uh, containing containing a uh, condensed a uh, condensed all complete all complete financial statements financial statement for a period for a period less than one year for a period less than one year for a period less than one year so therefore that basically how we define the interim uh, financial good uh, report so basically those are some of the terms uh, you need to you should be in a position to to define and also in this case you should be able to remember uh, what is the uh, provided for under this particular standard here that is is34 uh, and basically i've said this a uh, standard basically a price whereby a company is preparing uh, the financial statement for interim period interim period we have said is a period um which is less than one financial year is a quarter is have a year and so on so when a company is preparing the financial statement for such a period how should they be prepared what should be contained in a complete set of uh, interim uh, financial what a financial uh, statement so as we wind up there is uh, some illustration uh, some um, assignment on illustration some assignment i want to give here we have uh, two questions so the first question leads um in context of uh, international accounting standard number 34 uh, interim financial reporting define the following terms so the first term is interim period number uh, the other term number two is interim financial uh, statements so define those uh, two terms and then the other question which is question number two explain uh, five contents of an interim financial uh, report and also in accordance with what ias 34 or international accounting standard number 34 so make sure you attempt those uh, a particular question and basically that bring us now to the end of that particular uh, subtopic uh, see you in the next session